let's take a look at user dimensions in Pro Kitchen and how to use these effectively. Now here's our user dimensions. That's these guys up here. They you typically found over here on this side of your screen in the toolbar, but I move that toolbar over to the top of my screen. You can just grab it by these little dots here and move it if you need to. You can also find the measurements under our measurements tab up here. So we, we've got them all laid out here. We've got horizontal, vertical, point to point, angular, point to line, and line to line. Now some of these are pretty self-explanatory, especially point to line and line to line. But let's take a look at all of them here. Horizontal. I'm going to click on my corner of my cabinet to my other corner. It tells me that I've got 11 and 16 inches from the face of this cabinet to the side of that cabinet. Handy little measurement to have. Vertical. I'm going to click on the side of this cabinet, go to the side of that cabinet, and it tells me we've got 10 and 3 16 inches in here between the face of this cabinet and the side of that cabinet. Again, a handy measurement to have. We've got point to point. This will measure from any point to any other point. Oops. Get it to move here. Ah, give me grief. Anyways, if you click on that just right, it'll move that measurement around to where you would like it to be. There. Move. There we go. That makes it a little bit easier to find that guy. And now we'll do a point to line. And so we'll select. Let's select this point and I want to go to this line it's telling me that's 37 and a quarter inches from there to there so that can be a handy now you can go to any line you don't have to cross over and do the wrong side like I did but you can go from any point to any line and then line to line is as it, as it says it's from one line to another line and that could be any line to line. So, thing about the dimensions is you notice there's a little green line out there when I click on something. Click on here and it gives me that little green line. If you don't get that little green line, then you're not clicked on. So, you need to uh, go try it again until you get that little green line building out there. Once you get that little green line going, you just got to find your other line and click on it. So, and that'll give you the dimensions. And then to get rid of your dimensions, if you just right click on them and delete, you can clean things back up. You can also determine how you want these dimensions. You can move and rotate and all these good things under your dimension uh, menu as well. So, all sorts of fun things there to play with in dimensions. And uh, plenty of dimensions to be able to get all of the measurements that you need for your layout for whatever purposes your plumbers your electricians your installers plenty of dimension abilities here in pro kitchen for all of that